This is a low calorie chicken sandwich that is made in 15 minutes, so let's do this. To get things started, I will prepare one chicken thigh. First, I will try to cut off all of this skin. This is basically where all of the fat is stored, so by trimming this, I can already save a lot of calories on the meat. So I will try to cut off as much of the skin off as I can. Also, what helps cooking this more evenly is to slice into the meat and flatten it out so you get an evenly thick chicken thigh. Do you see this small piece of skin? This weighs 22 grams, which means that it has 143 calories, 99 from the fat and 44 from the stored protein. The chicken the thigh on the other hand weighs 100 gram and has only 120 calories. This is a very good example how many calories you can save by cutting down some fat. For seasoning I will cover the chicken with a generous amount of salt, a couple of cranks of black pepper and then a good amount, maybe a teaspoon of garlic powder. Every piece of meat should be covered and this now gets into a piece of parchment paper and then into the oven. You can also use the air fryer, regardless of which you are using, set the temperature to 180 degrees celsius or 350F on convection mode and I will set the time to 12 minutes. So, once the chicken is baking, we are ready to get the ranch sauce going. For that, you will need 1 tablespoon or 10 gram of non fat Greek yogurt, or you can also use some skewer, 1 tablespoon or 10 gram of buttermilk, this one has 1% fat, 1 teaspoon of 5 grams of mustard. For seasoning, I will add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a pinch of salt, some cranks of black pepper, and to add a touch of freshness, I will also add the juice of half a lime. This is a relatively sour ranch version, so if you want to add some sweetness, feel free to add a teaspoon of honey or some chopped up green slop, parsley or chives. Mix everything and lay this aside. Next up, I will heat up a pan on medium heat and I will use a brioche bun for the sandwich. This is soft and tastes quite good and has 190 calories. So regardless of which bread you use, I would highly recommend you toast the buns. This will add a nice texture and also additional flavor to the sandwich. For that, I will spray some olive oil into the pan and now I will add the buns and try to spread the oil on the entire bun surface of both sides. This will take you maybe 30 to 45 seconds, so please check the buns immediately after adding until you have a nice golden brown color. Color in them. After 10 minutes, I will check for the first time my chicken with a thermometer. The temperature is at 70 degrees C, so I will let this bake for another 2 minutes and then it should be at 74, which is the safe temperature for chicken thighs. So, as soon as they are ready, I like to cut the chicken thighs in half. This is an American cheese slice, it has 60 calories. I will cut this into halves as well and lay one side between the two pieces of chicken and the other on top. You can also add the cheese into the oven for the last 30 seconds and melt them there. Now, to make a chicken sandwich, I will obviously start with the bun. I will first hit the bottom with half of the ranch, followed up by the chicken and the other half of the cheese. For toppings, you can obviously add whatever veggies that you want, but I like to add fresh diced onions and one piece of Roman salad. The other half of the ranch goes on top, and finally, the other side of the bun. Give the sandwich a little smash, and there you go. A healthier chicken sandwich that is made in 15 minutes. The entire thing comes in with 409 calories, 36 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 29 grams of protein, which are in my opinion really good macros for a sandwich. If you want to see how to make healthier french fries, check out this video where I show you a special ingredient to make them super crispy. 